Hi, welcome to CG Dive. This is going to be a quick tip video and I'm going to talk about how to append a Rigify rig that you created in one scene into another Blender scene. This is a slightly advanced topic. If you're new to Rigify, please watch my Rigify playlist from the start so that you can learn how to use and customize Rigify. So in this scene, I have a mesh and a meta rig that I'm ready to generate. And before I press generate, let's expand the advanced options and then press generate rig. Now if I select my meta rig again and look under the advanced options again, you'll see that these fields that were empty a second ago were populated. This setting is set to overwrite and uh, the target rig is the rig and we have this target UI, which will become important in a second. I just wanted to make you aware of this rig UI.py. This is a script that Rigify uses to create this kind of rig layer menu. And also if you go to pose mode and select some of your widgets, Rigify will give you some options like IK and FK switching, snapping and so on. And now let's connect the mesh to the rig by parenting with automatic weights. And with that, let's say that our character is ready for production. And let's say that we want to use this character in another scene. So I'm simply going to start a new instance of Blender and place it next to my original scene. So I'm going to save this file. And then in my other scene, I'm going to go to File, Append. And by the way, we are talking about appending, not linking. Linking and proxies is something that I'm going to talk about in a separate video. So I'm going to choose Append, go to the folder where I saved my file, double click on the blend file, and then I'm going to go to the object folder and choose my main tail object and my rig object. Main tail is my character mesh. I named it with a name that makes sense to me and now I can easily identify it in the append menu. And rig is my generated rig. I could have named it better, but this will work in this example. All of these WGT objects are your widget shapes. I'm not going to select any of them, but they will be appended anyway. Blender will also append anything that is connected to the objects that you selected here. So with that, I'm going to click append. And here is my character and the rig as well. And overlapping with the rig are all of the widget shapes. So let's expand this window. To clean up the scene, I'm going to select all of the WGT objects by selecting the first one and then shift clicking on the last one in the outliner. In the 3D view, I'll press M, new collection, and call it WGT or something like that. And then collapse and hide this collection. And now if I select my rig and go to pose mode, and move some of the widgets, you'll see that the rig is already working. However, in item, you will not find the menu that we used to have in our original scene. And some people freak out at this point, but there is no need to panic. Just change any of these Blender windows to a text editor, and in it, you'll find the rigui.py file. We didn't explicitly append this file, but as I said, Blender will append any data that is connected to the objects that you did append. So we have the rigui.py. I just have to select it and press the run button. And here is our menu. And here are our rig properties. So the whole rig will work now and you can use it in your new scene. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. If you did, please click like and subscribe and consider supporting me on Patreon or Gumroad. This is what enables me to make these weekly videos for you. Some of them are quick tips like this one and others are much more in-depth tutorial series on complex topics around Blender and game engines. Talk to you in another video.